what does being authentic mean to you? To me, it means exploring who I am within me, my core. Namaskar, I'm Sushant Devgikar, and you might have seen me on TV, unfortunately. <laughs> and I'm a drag queen, and I'm also called Rani Kohinoor. So I always say that I have two mothers. One is right here, and the other is ooh, uh, my drag mother, okay, who gave uh, birth to my drag persona, uh, who is Mr. Keshav Suri from the Lalit group. And I always say that I'm, all, I'm twice as lucky because one mother chooses what I wear and the other mother chooses how I wear it. Our environment decides to such an extent how we must dress, how we must behave, how we must talk. A man should not enter the kitchen. A man should not be a stay-home dad. A woman should not drive a car. A woman should not play sports. A woman should not like be a politician. A woman cannot be an alpha female. A man cannot wear makeup. But who are you to tell me what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Unless you're paying my bills. And that's a lot of bills. So you need to ask yourself whether you want everybody else from outside to decide who you are within from the inside. And I don't want that. I hope you don't want it. And the only way to do this is look inward when that happens. And that's not an easy journey. It's, it's, no one said it's going to be easy. But for some of us, it's easier than it is for the others. And for some of us that are privileged to have it more comfortable and easier than the others, we have to support the others. So look at the people sitting beside you. Stop judging them first. And that comes only when you stop judging yourself, when there's no self-doubt, when there's no inferiority complex, when you accept truly who you are, you will accept the person sitting next to you. The person can be whoever she or he is. It doesn't really matter. You're breathing the same air, so if you have an air about yourself, well, that's your loss. <laughs> All right, and you know, this comes from looking at yourself every day. You wake up every morning, for some of you who do night shifts every evening, and look at yourself in the mirror and say, is this what, is this who I really am? Is this who I want to be? When I asked myself that about a decade back when I was in college, I was like, no, this is what I am because I don't want to be told, oh my God, he's so gay, he's so, uh, what is he wearing? Uh, and wh what, what, what does he think he's doing? And then I realized that this is me because I'm so scared. I was so felt so attacked and that shouldn't happen that shouldn't happen to anybody you don't decide someone is beautiful because that person's going to be beautiful to at least someone and you don't decide who that someone is if you don't want to be that person that's fine but just keep quiet and just walk away that's the most that's the most amazing thing you can do all right everybody is beautiful to somebody and you're not going to dim anybody's sparkle, I'm sorry. The next thing I would like to tell you from my personal experience is that, you know, I have not been as privileged as some of the youth today is because we didn't have uh, YouTube and uh, we couldn't, we didn't have Instagram for sure. And uh, we didn't have social media basically, where we could share what we are and we could be more open about our talents and, share with the world what, who we really want to be. And back then, I mean, you know, I probably had to take a bit of a beating and uh, I had to kind of pave the way. Well, there were a lot of people before me who supported me very, very majorly and they play a very important place, uh, a part in my life. You know, I had to go through stuff that I would not wish anybody had to go through. No child should go through it. And whether you're in college, you're in school. I'm not my mother's gay child or, my, or her straight child. I'm her child. And that is important. You need to understand that 
there will be a lot of people trying to pull you down. You can give only so many motivational talks and then it's up to someone else whether they want to take it. But even if you've moved that person 0.5%, you've done your job. And if that person becomes a role model for someone else sitting next to him or somebody calls you when you're your authentic self, trust me, people are going to look up to you for just being you. And that's what's important. And so when I was younger, I didn't have this platform and uh, I didn't know how to go about it. Well, let's say, just, just say it like that. When I was in my teens and um, one of my fellow speakers, uh, her son was, I used to look up to her son and as a musician. And then I realized that, you know, I, I, can't, be, I can't be speaking like this all the time. It's going to hurt my vocal cords. So I'm going to speak like that as well. And I'm going to be the way I am because I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. Everyone is beautiful. And you look at yourself every morning and tell yourself that you are special. Your role may be small, but that is special. Because everybody, everybody at some point goes through this conflict. You go through a conflict with your inner self. And that's beautiful. Because if that doesn't happen, I mean, you're hardly human. So, and when that happens, that's going to poke you, that's going to pinch you and say, you see, this is who you're supposed to be. This is the actual you. Forget the societal norms, forget the gender norms, the, uh, the norms that are created from outside. Look within yourself and start today. Because I will, you know, till an extent, I realize that when I was on TV and when I, you know, finished my studies and then I represented this country multiple times and I, I always thought that, oh, I'm not getting the attention I deserve. Uh, I, I'm Mr. Gay World India as well, but a Miss India gets talked about and she gets like offers. And I realized, but that's okay because that's her and I will get there. And if you believe that that's going to happen, but you must believe that first. Because if you don't believe that, nobody else is going to believe that. If you don't believe you're special, if you don't believe you're amazing, gorgeous, beautiful, how is the person next to you going to believe that? If you're going to be like, oh, oh no. That's, oh. <laughs> the other person's going to be like, okay, okay. All right, I'm going to, that's going to make a... So the thing is that we need to understand that when you are you, the other person doesn't have a choice. It's, they really don't have a choice. And so I'm going to keep this very short and simple. Believe in yourself. I believed in myself. I'm living my dream. I just met the Prime Minister of Canada. And he said, oh my God, Mr. Gay India. And I, and I died. So I would just like to tell you and I would leave you with this thought from one of my idols, my all-time favorites. If you're not going to love yourself, how in the hell is anybody going to love you? Can I hear an amen? amen? Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.